down video because I haven't done one in ages. Um, if you hear a lot of noise in the background, it's the boys, they're playing in the bedroom. One of the lovely ladies that comments on the video asked if I could do a video on what online programs we use and what computer programs. So I thought that would be a good one to do. So the first one we use is Education City, um, which is amazing. If I had to choose one to use, that would be it. Stanley loves it. It's really bright and colourful. Um, it just makes learning really fun, as you can see here. Um, it's all linked in with the national curriculum. Um, you can change the ability level to whatever you, you want to. I think you can change it like three times a year or something like that. It's 29 95 per year, which I think is really nothing for how much we use it, because he probably uses it every day, I would say. The other learning subscription we have for Stanley is a recent one that I've had, and that's Ed Place. Um, I'm not really sure about that at the moment. Uh, basically, a lady, a really lovely lady from Pop Art Home Education, which is a Facebook site, organised a discount, and it's a huge discount. It's seven pounds a year instead of ninety-nine pounds a year. So it's a massive discount. You don't get quite all of the features on it, but for seven pounds, it's brilliant. The only thing is, it's literally, there's no music, there's no whistles and bells, you know? So for a five-year-old, it's not overly interesting, I would say. It's not something I would pay 99 pounds a year for, but for seven pounds a year, you know, it's just an extra thing we can use. And it's one that I would sit with him constantly to do. Uh, whereas Education City, I would kind of leave him to it sometimes because he can kind of, you know, it reads it out and bits like that. And although he reads really well, um, it's it's quite small. The, the font and bits are quite small on Ed Place. But again, £7 a year, you can't go wrong. But at the moment, I wouldn't pay £99 a year. I think as the children get older, I think it would be really good for the older children. Um, but yeah, it's not something that I'm amazed by so far. Another one we use is the Khan Academy, which is great because it's completely free. Um, anything that he wants to find out, he can find out on a YouTube video. So if he's stuck for an answer on a maths question or an English question, it links up to a YouTube page, which is brilliant because he likes to look at videos and it's a bit more visual. Um, you can earn badges and things like that um, during the play which is always great for children they like to learn uh, they like to earn badges and things like that so that's that's really good and we have used that a little bit um, I think as he gets a bit older we'll probably use that one a bit more as well so a program we use which is actually I only recently got it at the weekend um, and I came across it on one of the school's websites that I was looking on um, in their planning section and I know that a lot of schools use it and it's called to paint and Stanley loves it. So it does all different things. It's basically, you know, there's just your, your basic painting um, bit on the computer, like your paint that comes with the computer, but better and more colors and things like that. But you also have an option to do um, like stamps and bits of art, mosaic. There's all different things, but it's really, really easy to use and it's made for children. That costs 30 pounds to buy the program. So onto the bits that I use for planning. So my main thing is Twinkle and I really, really like it. I use it quite a lot for any worksheets that I want to print off. Also, I use it for my display banners um, as titles because you'll you normally find all of that on there. So I have the Platinum Classic membership which costs about the equivalent of £3.60 a month, which is about £45 a year. Um, on one day a year, I know that they do do a home educator's discount as well, which I think gives you quite a discount, um, but I missed, missed out on that. Um, but yeah, you have to look out for the offers on some of the Facebook sites. Um, but yeah, I, I really like Twinkle. I don't need the gold membership or anything like that for the planning. The other thing worth mentioning that I also couldn't do without is my HP printer. And um, I've got HP printer and I've got the instant ink. So that is brilliant as well. So I pay £3 a month and for £3 a month you get 100 copies and they will send you your ink because it's um, connected to your Wi-Fi. So they will send you your ink before it runs out, which is great. Um, I believe you can get a lot 
more for about six pounds a month. I think you can get like 500 sheets. So if you have more children or you're just using more, you could definitely do that. At the moment, three pounds is fine for me. I also believe that you can do, a, uh, I can't remember what it is now, I think it's like 50 sheets for a pound or something but for us probably the three pound a month at the moment is is good value and I'd say that is definitely another thing that I wouldn't want to be without because we do print off you know we try not to print off masses of, of things but it is you know it is handy to be able to print the odd worksheet or bits for our display or Stanley with his to paint program he likes to just print things out for family and friends um, so yeah another thing well worth looking into I would say um, and it makes our life a lot easier instead of having to try and order ink and realising it's run out before you do it, um, which is always a pain when you're trying to print something out. So yeah, I think really that is all of the programmes and um, subscriptions that we have for the computer at the moment. So all in all, it doesn't cost a lot of money. Again, you don't need any of these, but you know they do make your life a lot easier. I would say definitely education city and twinkle is the other one for me um the others like i say i'm i'm not sure on yet but we'll give it all a go the other thing of course is youtube we use youtube a lot to find out things if stan asks me a question about you know i don't know how um birds fly and things like that you know we'll just if i don't know the answer properly we'll look it up on a youtube video and you can find so much information on there so i hope this video has been helpful um obviously i don't know all of the programs that are out there so if you want to comment below and actually give me some ideas that would be great also if you have any other questions please feel free to leave them below and yeah we'll see you for our next video bye